You'll also want to make sure that you cover the track with masking tape. Actually what I use is green painters tape because it doesn't stick when leaving a residue afterwards. And you want to make sure that all of that track is covered because it'll prevent any plaster from spilling onto the track or the ties, making it a lot harder to clean afterwards. Once that's done, then we can ballast after the scenery is done. We're going to be cleaning these utensils quite frequently. Get everything, all the plaster off before it actually hardens in the bowl. I use a little brush to get all the plaster on the sides of the bowl. And then, as I said, I throw the water. You see the color. You can see all the plaster in it. And, and then toss that contaminated water out. And then I'll take that bowl and I'll dump it outside in, uh, in the yard somewhere safe. You'll notice that the roadbed, spline in this case, is raised above the base plaster. And what I do now is start to fill in the gullies on either side of the track so that we have a, a ditch on either side for runoff. So what I've done here is start to fill in uh, the ditch on either side of the track, still keeping it recessed from the roadbed itself. This will then get filled with small rocks and debris and, and uh, vegetation. I filled in the base of the rockwork on the far side of the bents, troweling up some of the plaster around the footings of the bents. Now this is not 100% perfect, but once I start putting gravel and rocks and debris back in there, it'll start uh, pulling it all together. Any of the plaster that shows on the uh, bents themselves will be washed off uh, um, by just spraying it with uh, uh, an atomizer water bottle and then a, a soft uh, a brush will brush off any plaster that uh, still remains on the, uh, on the wood surface itself. This is an example of the splatter from spraying the plaster with uh, the water wash. You, you can't avoid this, and this is probably the worst case yet, but it'll be very easily removed with, uh, with a spritzer bottle and then just brushing the plaster off the wood itself. Once the rock work is done here, uh, the hard shell that was here, uh, I trowel on the plaster over this area, brushing it up into the base of the rock, and then I'll use a brush like this and just jam it in here like so. And just brush it up and then try, then trowel uh, the brush across here to smooth it all out after troweling it on with, uh, with a spatula. And then spritzer the rock itself. What that does is wash the plaster that off the rock, leaving the, 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 the casting. And then you get this blending in the edges of the casting. Uh, to the ground itself. Same thing has been applied between the rock castings. Then after I've done this, we'll be spraying all this with color and then I'll trowel on uh, or brush on white glue, carbon white glue, onto all the smooth surfaces. That will have grass and vegetation and so on. And I sprinkle pl uh, plate sand over all that. That gives it a fairly good tooth and it also helps to hide the plaster uh, itself and smooth the plaster out so you don't see all these brush marks through that. That gives a, a good background behind the vegetation and the grasses and which will be then be applied on top of that. So if anything's exposed anywhere uh, it'll, be, it'll be actually sand. I didn't want this to look like um, fill uh, to the raised roadbed because the scenery beyond is at this level. 
So I put castings along the top edge of this ridge here, which would, would be left exposed. And then I'll trial plaster up into the side of the slope, brushing it up into, into the, the rock casting itself. And that'll have stone coming down, creating a, a talus area here. Um, and it'll blend down gently into this lower flat area here. It'll be covered in you know sand and gravel and rocks and grasses so that as you get to the top edge here it's not all one material and you'll get these rock outcroppings up here which will give a bit of strength to the, the top of this ridge that's holding up the track work across the top.